Hi everyone, today is my topic is gonna be uh, taking my orchids to the rain water. Again, I wanna cover this topic, but today I want to talk in details. Why I do this? Um, as you see, I have lots of orchids now. Before, uh, in my previous video when I showed you, when I take my orchids uh, to the rain water, I sh when I showed it, I had few orchids. I didn't have so many orchids as now uh, before. Um, now I have lots of orchids, and how I'm taking them out, I found uh, some comfortable way for me. I bought these two cards. These are shelves, and they have wheels. I take my orchids, uh, my healthy orchids, uh, out on these cards. This is first what I want to tell you. Uh, probably somebody will learn from this and uh, it will make your life easier, more easier. Uh, it's better to take your orchids, 20, 30 orchids, uh, one in one time like this with this card, then to take them out separately by one by, by one one, uh, one by one sorry <laughs> and now you see I keep them outside last night it started raining uh, now it's morning they stayed outside from you know uh, from last night they are staying um, and uh, before uh, sun uh, you know burn their leaves I have to take them inside but now it's 10 o'clock I think uh, and we don't have Sun it's uh, it's gonna rain again today uh, from the um, sky uh, you uh, you can easily find out that uh, we don't have Sun now uh, that's why um, they are still outside until I drain their water as you see here in the pots um, I have still water and I have to drain this water I will uh, take out the water all from all of them these pots you know these pots they have water here and I pour the, that water and here I have and all the pots I have to empty um, and um, I will take them in the house and put under the fan uh, some of uh, my uh, subscribers asked me if we can take our orchids outside when if it rains every day um, yes you can you can take them outside every day but you have to you know um, your orchid has to be planted in bark if you want to take them outside every day every day it has to be planted like this in a bark medium if your orchid is in sphagnum moss like in this case you don't need to take them every day outside or you have to make drainage holes in the cup here I didn't make, with this orchid only, I didn't make any drainage holes. Um, I'm growing this orchid this way. Um, but uh, you have to have drainage holes. And uh, they don't need to be outside every day if it rains in your state. If they're in the sphagnum moss. Uh, if you want, you can put them outside even they are growing in sphagnum moss you can put under the rain but you have to have here uh, you know the drainage holes uh, to drain this uh, moss and uh, you, you will not have extra water here and it's not gonna harm your plant if it is planted like this you know it's loose I planted this orchid in the sphagnum moss and you see uh, there is uh, the sphagnum moss it's, uh, is not tied, like in this case. And if you have your orchid that is planted um, like this, tied in the sphagnum moss, you see here, 
how it was planted I didn't change the soil and the, the medium I mean um, if it's planted tight when you buy from the store um, the orchids usually they are you 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 will find your orchids that they are planted tight in the sphagnum moss and that kind of orchids you cannot take every day uh, out if it rains every day in your country um, it's gonna harm the roots the roots can decay but this is is better it, it's it's good you can you can take if you are your orchid is planted like this you can take your orchid every day uh, into the rain um, and let it drink from the rain water and uh, for the foliage is uh, the rain is very good if you keep them every day under the rain uh, it's not gonna harm the foliage um, and even you can keep them outside grow outside your orchids but they cannot get direct sunlight you know the sunlight can harm their leaves like uh, I will show you in my one example last time when it was raining I took my orchids outside uh, and uh, I, I took them nighttime outside and in the morning um, I, w I got busy and uh, I didn't take them inside on time and I will show you what happened with my some orchids here I will show you this orchid you see it got some burn here on this leaf even it was morning time but the sun was uh, you know the very strong and it burned this leaf you see and to avoid this you have to take your orchid on time in the house these orchids uh, I am keeping under the rain this way as you see it's not staying like this it's laying on the table um, if you uh, if it rains in your country every day if you want to take your orchids every day to the rain and you're scared that you can have root rot of your orchids you can use this method also uh, the medium will not get any rain only the foliage will get rain this way um, you can keep your orchids under the rain every day if you want Which can be vice versa if it doesn't rain in my country what I have to do um, the, for this question I can answer you if you don't if, if it doesn't rain in your country you can sometimes give shower to your orchid uh, and make them happy because the water makes their leaves feel happy and it will uh, it will make your orchid leaves shiny and it keeps the leaves always clean and at the same time it protects uh, your orchid getting sick uh, with uh, insects uh, if you keep your orchid always orchid leaves orchid foliage always dry you can have sometimes spider mite problem uh, usually we have spider mite problem in winter time even though uh, we, we you know we keep our plants outside in summertime and when we take uh, our plants inside the house um, in winter time the heating uh, is running and uh, the air is dry and that way we can have spider mite problem as I had last year with my plumeria plant over there I have plumeria and with this uh, you know with this plumeria I had spider mite problem I had to deal with spider mites last winter I showed you in my video um, how I treated this uh, plumeria and to avoid this you can give your orchid sometimes shower with orchids it's easy uh, to give them shower but with plumeria and such kind of uh, you know big plants 
it's a little bit hard to take them in the sh uh, bu uh, bathroom and give them a shower. It's a little bit hard. And w the orchids are small plants. I'm keeping my baby, sorry. He started crying. Um, um, with orchids, it's easier. They are small plants and sometimes you can put them in the sink and give them a uh, warm shower. And after you give them shower, you put under the fan and let it dry because if you are new in growing orchids, you have to know something that uh, the water after rain or after you give shower to your orchids, the water cannot stay in this place in the growing, growing tip. If the water stays here and you don't wipe it and or you don't put it under the fan to, do, to let it dry, the water can decay your uh, growing point and you can lose your orchid easily. Like this, water stays, you see, in this orchid, water is staying here and if you don't let it dry, the water can damage your orchid. To avoid this, we have to dry it with fan or we, can, we have to wipe it with um, paper towel or toilet paper or napkin. We can use anything to dry them out or you can do as I do. I don't have uh, time to dry them all. That's why I don't use any napkin or paper towel or toilet paper to uh, take out the water from the leaves. That's why I put them under the fan and let them dry. Um, and the uh, question can come out if the foliage, uh, not, not foliage, if the flowers can be damaged from the rainwater or water when we take, uh, when we give them shower. Um, for example, I have uh, orchids here, which I showed you in winter time. I showed you these orchids. This orchids, um, all my mini orchids I showed you, and these orchids are coming out whenever it rains since the days uh, started getting hot, warm. Uh, in winter time, of course, we cannot take them out because uh, it's, it's cold outside and we can damage our orchids, they can get freeze. But uh, when the days ge start getting warm, hot, we can easily take them out and let them drink from rainwater. These orchids, they started blooming in uh, January. I showed you uh, how I feed my orchids. Uh, simple recipe for orchids which triples the size and blooms in short time. In that video, I showed you these orchids. They started blooming that time and they bloomed for me for eight months. Now recently, in this month, in the, at the beginning of the August month, now it's August, they started blooming on January and you know, they stayed for eight months, almost eight months. At the beginning of August, uh, the flowers fall and this orchids, this orchid is still, you know, in bloom. This orchid I showed you uh, um, in my video, if uh, you know about the bud blast, in, in, in that video I showed you how to water if the orchid roots are over dried. I showed you on that video that we have to water slowly, slowly and I showed you this orchid. You know, I took this orchid uh, as an example. And as you see, it's still in bloom. And how many times, you know, uh, it came out when it rains? It came out lots of times. And as you see, it's still in bloom. Rainwater didn't damage the flowers. It doesn't damage the flowers. Before I thought, as you some of you think that the flowers can be damaged from the rainwater. I was uh, thinking like as you do. Uh, bef uh, before, uh, last two, two years ago, when we went to Florida for the vacation, I saw in, my, in one nursery house, I saw orchids. They were staying outside and they were in full bloom. And that day, 
it was raining and I saw that the flowers um, are safe under the rainwater and from that day I started taking my orchids outside because I you know I usually um, observe the nature and how uh, the plants are reacting some kind of change you know I, I like to learn that's why I paid attention to those orchids which I saw in nursery house they were staying under the rain and the, uh, the flowers were safe and from that day I learned that we can take our orchids outside as you are learning from my channel I also learned from some channels that um, orchids cannot um, get uh, water you know we cannot put water on their foliage and it can the water can damage their leaves but i changed my mind after i saw that those orchids uh, in the nursery house uh, i saw i changed my mind that it is safe for the orchids to be under the rain water since that day i started taking them out and now i am observing that the f flowers are safe they will not die from the rain water these orchids i showed you probably uh, on january or february months and it's still as you see safe and with my big orchids this orchid you know this orchid as you see uh, it's uh, it started blooming on january it was white orchid and I showed you in my simple recipe which triples in simple recipe for the orchids which triples the size and blooms in short time in that video I showed you this orchid it started growing that time secondary spikes from the primary spike you see these are secondary spikes and it bloomed uh, this year for me and it had I, I don't know how many flowers it had so many flowers and three days ago it fall its last flowers these flowers fall three days ago you see even my daughter I keep these orchids in my daughter's room and see she put these flowers in the pot when she was cleaning her room see um, these uh, orchid flowers they stayed for long time for eight months they, they started blooming for me uh, on January and now it's August and for eight months these flowers stayed uh, safe under the rain you know and you see how many roots they are growing because they are so happy see the roots are full in this pot and they are growing new roots in the, in the pot and the foliage you see how they are perky shiny and clean so most of people ask in my comments how i clean my orchid uh, you know f leaves i don't clean them at all whenever it rains if i have time i try to take them outside that way i keep their leaves you see foliage how it's shiny perky strong and happy i keep their leaves like this way you know shiny perky strong and happy and you see even the first leaves when i got them from the store when i bought them they came with these first leaves and still there here they didn't die you know nothing dies from the rain water vice versa it rain makes them happy because you all know that the rain is mercy from the creator and it gives life to the plants to the animals for everything for us for human being the rain is mercy from the god now we talked about the rainwater if it can harm our orchid flowers we said no it doesn't harm because i showed you already in my examples uh, for eight months they stayed safe under the rain every time when it rains i take them out and let's talk about the shower if 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 we can give our orchid shower and what we have to do uh, with the flowers when we give them shower we don't need to give the flowers shower we only give the foliage shower to the foliage on top of the foliage and it's enough because on the rain 
you don't have any choice when you put your orchid uh, the flowers you cannot protect your flower but you know the top of the orchid only p uh, flowering part you cannot protect from the rainwater that's why uh, even it, st it stays under the rain it's not uh, gonna harm your flowers but if we have choice not to put the water on the flowers we use that you know option uh, here we have option not to give the shower to the uh, flowers and we have to use that option now uh, if i want to give a shower to my orchid i put a, sh a shower i give only the foliage not the flowers because uh, you know um it's it's better to get, to do this way uh, sometimes in winter time i give shower to my hoyas hoyas uh, the plants which uh, love the water they don't love water in their pots but they love water on their foliage sometimes in winter time i give my hoyas shower and whenever i have time i take them uh, uh you know in the bathroom and try to give the shower to the foliage and with hoyas is easy you don't need to uh, dry out the foliage it's not gonna harm the water if it stays uh, on the foliage uh, it's not gonna harm the hoya uh, fla uh, you know leaves but the orchids you have to dry under the fan or you have to wipe with napkin or paper towel or toilet paper um, that way or you you put under the fan that way you have to dry out your orchids uh, uh, you know from getting rot here i have you see anthuriums i take them always um, under the rain when it rains also i have two different colors and they love rainwater also the foliage and everything and now let's talk about uh, about something different as i told you in my previous videos as i told you that i feed my orchids every time i water and sometimes when it rains i take them outside i learned from this before i didn't know what i was doing now i'm sure that i'm doing uh, the right thing because i want to explain you about this what i learned when i take my orchids you know some some people they are very careful with fertilizer and i don't uh, you know worry about giving them fertilizer every time i water i water every time with fertilizer and when it rains i take them outside what can rain how can rain um, help my plants um, if we look from the different side you know the i s i watch also youtube videos and i see that people they flash their medium uh, to clean the medium from the salts from extra fertilizer uh, they put in the sink and they give the medium flesh out they flesh out especially i you know i like watching uh, michael's orchids channel uh, he grows his orchids uh, in different way hydroponic uh, medium he uses for his orchids and he flesh out his orchid medium um, when i take my uh, orchids you know under the rain i flash the medium and i don't need to give them extra uh, flash you know i don't need to, to put the medium in the sink and i uh, um, flash out the uh, salt you know extra salts from the medium i don't need to clean that because i take them uh, into the rain and uh, you know they stay for the night time or you know when it rains we don't have sun you always always know that and uh, they are safe to stay outside until it starts uh, you, know, you know the sun starts shine shining until the time we can keep our orchids outside um, and you know the orchids they sit until i get, take them in the house they sit in the water even these hoyas they sit under the rain and the medium you know 
it cleans it gets clean uh, from the salts extra salts this way we give um, you know the plants we let the plants grow better and healthy and now I have to flush uh, to, to drain the water and take them in the house now I will show you how I drain this orchids you see here I have mini orchids and I drain the water these pots have drainage holes and I place it back these pots in the this uh, in this pot and like this and this pot it doesn't have drainage hole and I drain it like this don't forget to do this extra water has to go out and we don't need extra water in this pot otherwise we can have root rot now it's okay see water stopped coming out I don't need to push and squeeze this uh, sphagnum moss whatever stays here it can stay it's not something dangerous that can harm our roots orchid roots and this kind of pots this kind of pots and this kind of pots uh, I drain like this I hold my orchid I have here inside pot you know see it's clear plastic pot and roots are growing crazy I replanted this orchid and here I have water which I don't need and I put this pot again in this pot and this way I do with this all orchids I do the same thing and I put them in the house under the fan with this cart you know and I put them back in the room where I grew them um, in every room I have ceiling fan if you don't have ceiling fan you can use any fan if you have lots of orchids if you have only one orchid it's not big deal you can dry uh, using your method but I dry that way because I have lots of orchids and I have five kids and I have, I have to study and have to, I have to do other stuff other things and that way I'm very busy to dry out that base orchids I forgot to talk about two things this dendrobium I got uh, I bought it from Florida uh, five months ago on March month now it's August uh, and it grew for me new baby and this baby it bloomed for me you know it means this dendrobium f uh, bloomed for me for the second time when I bought this orchid it was blooming from this cane you know and it grew this new cane and it bloomed for me it made me happy I was thinking if I am growing my dendrobiums uh, uh, right way or I'm doing something wrong but from the foliage you cannot think that I'm doing something wrong everything is go going okay but uh, I didn't know what to do how to make them to bloom but they bloomed for me by themselves I didn't need to do something extra or I didn't need to think about and worry about that and here I have um, mini orchid um, which I put it also under the rain I'm gonna talk about this orchid later I got it from, from clearance and keep in your mind I will talk about this orchid later in the different video thank you for watching if you learned from this video something uh, please put thumbs up if you are new in this channel um, please subscribe for more videos we will discuss more problems and success which I am doing with my plans Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.